Again, a question from the year 2025. Three prime numbers P, Q and R each less than 20 such that P minus Q equal to Q minus R. How many distinct possible values can we get for P plus Q plus R? So whenever a problem like this comes, uh, I, I say I just need to for you know make sure that this condition is act valid. That basically means P minus Q should be equal to Q minus R. But the problem is that I don't like minus. So what I will do is that I'll take the negative values to the other side. Then I'm going to get P plus R is equal to Q plus Q or or P plus R is equal to 2Q. This is what I'm going to get. Now, hmm, three prime numbers P, Q and R. Read this thing very carefully. They are talking about three prime numbers P, Q and R. Each less than 20. Okay. They never say that P, A, Q and R should be equal or distinct. I mean, they should be distinct. They never say that they should be distinct. But they do use the word distinct over here. Distinct possible values. For what? For P plus Q plus R should be distinct. That's what they are saying. So this is where things getting interesting because I have seen a lot of solutions online. Uh, they have not considered this fact where P, Q and R can be equal. So that is a place where the problems start. So anyway, each of them are less than 20. So I will list out all the prime numbers which are less than 20. The prime numbers less than 20 are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. This is all the probably prime numbers which I'm going to use. And they never say that this number should be uh, P and Q and R should be distinct. They never say that. So I can use the repetition. That basically means that I can say that the number P, Q and R all are is equal to 2. So 2 plus 2 is equal to 2 into 2. All are 4. It's working. So P is equal to 2, Q is equal to 2, R is equal to 2. If that is the case, then the value of P plus Q plus R. P plus Q plus R. If all things are equal, will become 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is 6. That's one possibility. Now, interestingly, if you check, uh, if all the values are 3, 3 plus 3, that is also equal to 2 times 3. So, since this form is given something like that, if P and R are equal, if P and R and uh, Q all are equal, this condition will automatically become correct. Even if you select the next number, 5 plus 5 is equal to 2 into 5, it will be 10. So, it is active for all the values. That basically means that, this value, if all the values are equal to same value, like P is equal to Q is equal to R, I'm going to get P plus P plus P or 3P. So when Q, when the values are equal to 2, I got 6. If the, if the values are equal to 3, if the values P and Q and R are all equal to 3, then I'm going to get 3 into 3, 9. If all the values are equal to 5, then I will get 15. Just like that, for each of them, I'm going to get 1, 2, 3, 8 values. The last one being uh, 3 into 19. What is that? 60 minus 3, 57. Okay. See, I'll already get 8 values. And you look at the options. 4, 5, 6, more than 6. I'll directly go with more than 6. I don't even have to check anything else. Okay. I'm going for this thing because the question never says that the three prime numbers P, Q and R uh, should not be equal. They never say that or oh, they should be distinct. They never say that. Instantly, I got more than 8 values. So, answer will become D. If you did the problem like this, then the problem is going to be easy. If you miss this part, then the problem will be a little bit hard because you have to check all the values. And of course, this is a very new question. There are, there are high possibilities that I could easily make mistakes. So, in case if I find any mistakes or if you think that uh, I missed out on some points or you have a better answer, please put that on the comment, okay? Thank you. So, answer for this problem will become... Okay.